The Conservation Department here at Cambridge University Library plays a major role in the library's exhibition programme. From advising on the suitability or otherwise of material for display right through to the installation itself. Our primary concerns are the successful display of the selected items allied to the need to ensure that they are well supported for the duration of the exhibition. It has been exciting and challenging to help turn the ambitious vision of the curator of this collection into reality. This vision has sought to show not just the content of the books, but also to celebrate their physical nature, and often both at the same time. As conservators, our primary concern in this, as with all exhibitions, is the safety of the objects. We therefore offer advice at the beginning of an exhibition on every item intended for display. We look at their condition and physical needs as well as what the curator would like the viewer to see. We then discuss with the curator what he or she would like to communicate in each exhibition case and look at display options together. Before starting on the display of the objects, any items that require conservation are treated. This very early printed piece requires some conservation treatment prior to being exhibited. It was made not as a work of art, but to be displayed on a wall relaying information to the public, like a poster. This knowledge informs the decision-making process when choosing the right treatment and its desired outcome. For example, it is not appropriate to remove the dirt or stains due to the ephemeral nature of this object. However, in this case, residual adhesive on the verso is still tacky and this could cause problems in the future. The decision was made to remove the adhesive in order to make the object safe to handle and display. Initial testing indicated that the adhesive was soluble in polar solvents. A nice controlled way of applying the solvent is with the application of a poultice. This can be brushed onto the surface and left for a few moments to soften the adhesive. Once softened, it can be removed with a spatula. Final traces can then be lifted by very lightly rolling a swab over the surface. The paper is then left to dry under light pressure. There are times when scientific analysis is called upon in our search for a deeper understanding of an object. This is either to inform our conservation treatment or to further our knowledge of its historic or artistic origins. Analysis was performed on the red pigments on two objects in this exhibition. One, an early printed book, and the other, a 15th century woodcut that was found inside the book in the 19th century. This exhibition presented us with significant challenges. Conventionally, books in exhibitions are displayed at a single opening and are given the appropriate support. However, the curators of this exhibition wanted to show a significant number of the books displaying both openings, sometimes multiple, and the bindings themselves. Supports are made for each object to ensure that they are safe through the six month exhibition period. We usually make these out of archival card and support books open as if they are being read horizontally. However, in this exhibition, many have been displayed upright or in a position where both text and binding are on show. This has required the structures to provide a different level and nature of support and many of them have therefore been made out of perspex to provide the necessary extra strength and rigidity. The conservators have designed them to fit the particular needs of each book, making models and board to ensure that the books will fit exactly, will have the right type and degree of support, and be able to be taken in and out of the perspex structures. We have needed to find a balance between maximising what the viewer will see with the safety needs of the object. It is important to not only display the object safely, but to also consider what the curator is wishing to communicate. For example, in this case the curator wanted to hang four broadsides in a way that imitated their intended display as posters attached to a wall. After researching and trying out various options, we came up with this method of adapting parts of the case, incorporating a bar to hang the supports and attach the pieces using rare earth magnets. 
Once all practical aspects of the supports of the objects have been dealt with, the final overall display of the case can be addressed. In the broadsheets case, for example, there are 21 items, including all objects and their captions, and there was a risk that it could end up looking too busy and that the captions could distract from the objects themselves. We therefore made a mock-up of the case so that the curators could see how each object related to each other and could decide ahead of time how best to display the captions. That way we could then finalise the practical details before installation. Once all items are installed, we then look at the light within each case and any shadows formed within them, making sure that all items can be seen clearly and all captions easily read. We ensure correct light levels for the preservation of the objects, with special attention given to the red pigments in this case, which are particularly vulnerable to fading. Finally, the environmental conditions are checked with the relative humidity and temperature monitored throughout the exhibition period.